Hey guys, it's been cold, that's all I gotta say. The water temperature is 73 degrees, it is slowly going down. I have a 300 watt heater in here and I have stuff over the top to keep the heat inside of it. This morning it was under 35 degrees, that's how cold it was in Florida. It doesn't get that cold usually, but we got it. It happens every once in a while. And all my fish are doing actually okay. I got them to eat this morning too. I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuff off so you guys can see in the pond. And then I'm gonna start working on the waterfall. The pakus are happy. They're still swimming around. I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but they're going back and forth around here. And then the catfish is still right there. And the knife fish is right over there somewhere. I can't figure where he is, but he is right over there. Let me get all this stuff off of here. Well, just these two pieces, that one and that one. Oh. So here we go, the Pakus are happy. They're swimming around. There's one down there, one right there. Oh, there he is. Look at him. They haven't grown much since I put them in here. I was actually just reading online that when you take out some of the water from your pond and you have a heater inside of there, it will keep your water a lot warmer. So I'm gonna empty this pond out about halfway and keep my heater right here not just this one, I have another one inside that I'm gonna put inside of there to keep the fish warm and for them to stay warm while it's being cold outside. And I don't know if you guys can see the clown knife fish, but his tail is right there, right there. You can barely see it, but he's in there. And then once it's done being cold, I'm gonna refill that water back in and it will be all fine because it's basically just a bigger water change and it will keep my water a lot warmer. So these fish thrive while it is still cold outside. It's gonna have a 500 watt heater in here. And then after this week, I'm getting two 500 watts. So I'm gonna have a thousand watts inside of my pond. And it will be basically perfect temperature for whatever they wanna do or whatever I wanna have inside of this pond that is an exotic fish. I can have it set to 90 degrees in here and it would be 90 degrees. I wouldn't make it that hot because for obvious reasons it might kill the fish and they might need way more oxygen than they usually do. And I forgot to say that I don't know if I mentioned what the pond looked like when it was done and all dried up, like the concrete all dried up. And this is the whole side of the pond when it is fully done. Back over there, it doesn't have any because the waterfall is gonna be over there. And it looks honestly really beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but I really like the way that this pond turned out. And I hope you guys did too. And if you guys are gonna have heaters in your pond like that, you're gonna need a block or something to keep it away from the fish so the fish do not rub up on it and get burn marks. Like how tiger shovel nose get it really easily because they are on the bottom and they like to rub up against stuff like the trees or whatever else is inside of the water. And here we are, about 40% of the water is out, 60% is still in. And here are the fish. There is the hybrid right there. And the knife fish is right there. Wow, this water is really warm. It's a good thing. Oh, there he is, he came out. And then the Paku is right there. I don't know where the other Paku is. Oh, he's right there. And then the minnows that are surrounding all of everything that is in the pond. My brim right there. Drop a comment down below on what you guys want me to name the brim. I've not named him yet. And I know he'll not die in here. Just remember guys, this is not going to stay like this. Just until the really cold part is gone. I want to feed the Pakus real quick. See if they eat it. I'm not sure if they will. They might. Oh, there he goes. There's one Paku eating it. They absolutely love it without a waterfall inside there because they can see the pellets better on top of the water when they're eating. So 
So yeah, let's get started on the waterfall right now. When you guys are building a pond and you guys are filming it and posting on YouTube or whatever, the first thing you guys gotta do, be different than every other YouTuber that is also doing it. So today, this sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna be using a, uh, a ceramic pelican for my uh, waterfall. And here it is, right over here. This thing in the corner. And I'll be showing you guys how to set this up if you guys have something like this or have any pot of this sort. This is gonna be the most unique waterfall you guys have ever seen on YouTube. Trust me on that one. A lot of people use rocks to build theirs or just have a pipe flowing into their pond which is basically like their waterfall. But I'm gonna be using that pelican right there. Something different than anyone you guys have ever seen. I gotta grab this thing. Here's my pelican right here. There you go. You got your pelican, and all you need to do is just drill some holes. There's already a hole in the bottom, which is where I'm gonna be putting the pipe to flow into here, and then I'm gonna be using the front side over here. I don't know if you guys can see it at all but this front side for the water to come out. I need to change my clothes because these are not clothes that I should be working in on my pond. So I'll be back in just a second and I'll grab a drill so I can drill a hole too. All right guys, so now I got the pelican sitting up there and I pressure cleaned it and I stuck a hole through the bottom and now I just have to cut holes in the front with this thing right here with a drill and a drill bit. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna do a time lapse of cutting the holes. So now since I have the three holes drilled in it, I'm gonna turn on the water and see how it comes out of it. And if I need another one or another two, I'm gonna drill two more or however many I need more. That's how I have my pelican set up with the three holes right there. I'm probably gonna add a few more, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do it in the video. So this is where I have the pipe leading through, is through the bottom hole right here. And you can see the three holes up there. Like I said before, I'm probably gonna put two more right here above it or like one on the side or one on the other side. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you guys know in my next video. So this is how the pelican looks when it's done. The pelican waterfall, I guess you could call it. The whole pond. I think it honestly looks really good. I like the way it turned out. The pond is a little bit murky from drilling the holes, but it's all good because you could barely tell it's even there and it's gonna get sucked back in and it'll be all clear just by the morning. Wow, that, that thing is uh, quite the waterfall, I would say. Comment down below if you guys think this was a good idea or if you guys want me to try any more ideas like this. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep the pelican. I might do something else. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today on this video of building the waterfall pelican. And we just hit 4,000 subs yesterday. We're at 4,157 at this moment while I'm taking this video. It's gonna be more when I post this video because it's gonna be tomorrow. And Anything you guys want me to do, I'll do it for you guys. Building a bigger pond, like I said before, it's gonna be in progress tomorrow, so get ready. It's gonna be up there in a few weeks, most likely. I don't know how long it's gonna take, and give this like a thumbs up, and if you guys haven't already, go hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.